So when people put up studs, whether it's wood studs or metal studs, they're never perfectly aligned because there's yeah. some variation in the wood. It warps, it twists, um, or even mm -hmm. with metal studs too. I mean, there's less of a variation, but still it happens. So if a wall isn't perfectly straight, how are y'all able to straighten it in one day? Because like when we deal with that at home, it takes us a week because it's layer upon layer. It's 20 minute or 45 minute mud. You have to wait for that first coat to dry before you examine it and then put on another layer and then get it perfectly smooth. How are y'all able to level that out in just a day? Yeah, no, it sounds like you've definitely um, experienced some of the pain of finishing. So uh, that always makes it a great conversation. Again, going back to the process, we do it a different way. And so when we apply compound, um, we apply a profile of compound over the joint that is, is a little bit heavier. Um, and so that gives you a little bit more flexibility and robustness so that when you sand it back, um, maybe in certain areas that weren't perfectly flat, you sand back a little bit more. Um, and so you're not solving the problem with the iterative compound application. You you can do, a, and, and it really requires you to apply that compound in, a, in the right profile very accurately with the right tolerances. And that's what machines are very good at. And so that's kind of where it goes back to the capabilities and, and skills, so to speak, of the machine in the worker's hands enables this completely different way of doing it. So you not necessarily level out the wall by applying mud, but you could level it out later on in the process by sanding. Correct. Possibly. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's interesting. That's a pretty interesting. Do you all have to, uh, you can't use just regular drywall mud. Do you have a special formula that you use that is fast setting or it's just straight off the shelves? So we use straight off the shelves. Um, everything we actually um, attach to the robot to apply materials to sand and things like that are off the shelf. Um, so we're actually not changing anything about what you're putting on the wall and the, and the finish you have at home. Like, and, and that's one of the beauties of it is that that means that anybody who's thinking about using this machine to do the work, they don't have to consider whether like, oh, is this mud as good as the mud I use or anything like that. We can deliver exactly what they're looking for and just do it in you know a much better way. 